Respira en esta noche un olor a carnaval Hasta las estrellas bailan, esta noche es especial Se respira en esta noche un olor a carnaval Hasta las estrellas bailan, esta noche es especial Quiero que vengas conmigo y vivamos la emoción Solo mueve tus caderas y usa tu imaginación Quiero que vengas conmigo So, but we're all on the 46B, right? Coffee? Yes? Great. So, well, if you have any question during the tour, please let me know and I'll try to explain if I got the answer. What's Pura Vida? Pura Vida is how we say here in Costa Rica to say everything is good, great, Thank you, you're welcome, I love you, goodbye, how are you, long time I don't see you, the, lo the, the food was delicious, everything is pura vida. Actually pura vida literally means pure life, that's what it means, but it for us means more than that. So pura vida, everything is pura vida. Now it's P-U-R-A, okay, P-U-R-A-V-I-D-A, -A. pura vida. I'll give you an overall of the tour. We're gonna go for an hour and a half. If we don't have any delay, you know, approximately an hour and a half a drive from here to a spirit to Santo. It's Holy Spirit Coffee Plantation, that's the name, Spirit to Santo. So we're gonna have a, a one hour and a half drive to Spirit to Santo or the Holy Spirit Coffee Plantation. This is the name of the place, well, of the, of the departure from the coffee plantation and then we're gonna go to this ox cart factory. When we get there, we're gonna know a little bit about the ox carts, why are they so important for Costa Rica. So we're gonna go to the ox, ox cart factory, right? Over there, we're gonna have a little tour, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes explain you they're gonna explain us about the ox cards uh, you're gonna uh, be able to take pictures during the whole time and then we're gonna have uh, have lunch time so this is called port of Punta Arenas then we have Caldera 
And in Limon, we have Moin and Limon. Moin is the main port of Costa Rica. A bush will require us to be on highlands on a um, specific temperature, have to be a fresh temperature. Arabica doesn't do on the coast. You can plant, it will grow, but the harvesting and the quality of the coffee is not going to be the same if you grow it under the right conditions. And this place over here has the perfect conditions to grow Arabica coffee. So, the people was starting to get married, started their own industry or their own little farm, right? And coffee plantation. And that's where the people started to move to the central part of the country. And this happened through the years, through the years, until the biggest families started to buy to the smaller families and so on. But always the people stayed in the center of the country. And on the coastal parts, we have a very little population, which is nice. This is a village, it's called Naranjo. Naranjo. Naranjo is a village that depends a big percent, maybe not a hundred percent, but a very, very big percentage until the a coffee production. Quiero que vengas conmigo y vivamos la emoción. Solo mueve tus caderas y usa tu imaginación. Quiero que vengas conmigo y vivamos la emoción. Solo mueve tus caderas y usa tu imaginación. Vamos a bailar el ritmo de Costa Rica. Moviendo tu cuerpecito a este ritmo sabrosito. Vamos a Bella tierra tica, vamos a bailar el ritmo de Costa Rica. Actually, this is not normal for us during this time of the year. Actually, yesterday was all clear. So I think, I think it's about to rain soon. <laughs> and with this kind of rains we're having, during this time of the year, we're having this. You see, the coffee is blooming. So it is not supposed to bloom during this time of the year. So we will probably lose a lot of coffee. Because you know, they bloom usually during the first rains, July, yeah, June. Well, actually June, because in July we have kind of a dry season because it's the change of the weather in the south. So we have kind of no rain, so it, it gives time to the plant to bloom as it should. Uh, to export the coffee, the coffee has like a shell, the parchment, we call it the parchment. So if you don't take off this parchment, you can keep it like, you can store it for about six months. So that's the way how we export it. Right away you take off this parchment, this skin, you have about just one month to roast it. Because if not, it's going to get late. En esa hermosa noche, clara de abril, la luna por testigo, allá en el confío. Se oyó luego el latido de dos corazones. Uh, this is how everything ends and it starts as well. This is the coffee we export. So, this one, you see the color? Has, doesn't have this kind of shell anymore. So, this is the way how we export the coffee. It's, the environment is polluting it right now. With this parchment, this thing protects the bean. So we, we store it for about six months. That's why uh, most of the coffee is like this. We don't export any roasted coffee. Or... This is the pea berry. The berry, it's a lack of um, nitrogen in the soil that produces this mutation. The coffee, you can take a look at 
see it, huh? You can see that the difference. Uh, this is already roasted. And ground cut. This is the local, the local one we use. Uh, Naranjo is the name of the town. So uh, this is the one you find at uh, the supermarkets. This is unblessed. They just sell it here. Actually, all these coffees are just sold here. Nowhere else. If you want to get some, you have to come right away to the factory and, and buy it. You think? And this is the one that we export. <laughs> Guys, this is the roaster here. Uh, it takes just about 70 minutes to get a, a very dark coat. And this is the cooler. We are cooling the coffee. It takes about 10 minutes to be all cold. Esa hermosa noche, la había vivido. La luna por testigo, allá en el confín. This is the way how they used to peel out the parchment. The shell I showed you. So with this kind of a grounder. Get in, get in, please. Actually, it shouldn't be boiling. Uh, when the water is boiling, it, the coffee has like very important oils. So when the water is boiling, it takes off all these oils, uh, all these oils. So actually, it has to be like almost there. Like they used to have no ground cup like this. They used to have it like this, and then this is the way how they ground the coffee. I don't even know how to do this. Last time I almost. Broken, yeah. You put the beans in the top. Yeah, but there, there's a way to, to, to this. I, yeah, this way. It's because last time I did it like in the other way. Oh. I almost broken. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the way how they used to collect it with this here. And uh, um, so we pour it in here to our coffee. You have to kind of spin. Your hand. So in order to hold the coffee here, it gets a good amount of water. Plus, we use cotton because um, the cotton allows these oils to pass through. The, the, this kind of filters we use, the paper filters, it doesn't allow these oils to come through. So um, you're not getting all the, the healthy properties that you need from coffee. You spent about an hour and a half Yes. Yeah. So you spent about eight days from here to Punta Arenas. Ox carts like this. Um, I'm not sure if you are going, but they have actually the, the biggest ox cart in the world. I want that. The Guinness Award. Yeah. Um, and they used to spend many days on that. We have a saying here when someone drinks a lot, probably the whole weekend. Then we say, that guy got on the ox cart. <laughs> so they used to spend a long time, many days on this. They used to spend the eight days like this. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where that came from? Yeah. from the De dos corazones en un ardiente beso, mi amor. Welcome to the Oscar factory, Mr. Eloy Alfaro. Yeah. Eloy Alfaro founded this factory in 1920. This is the only factory in all country to make cars with our own traditional way. This is a labor national symbol in Costa Rica. Early in the 20th century, Costa Rica did not have another means to transportation except the Oscar. This was used to handle merchandise, agricultural products, as well as people. To imagine that mongly road, the tall road, the severe weather, the dense forest, maybe talk like 80 years back. Right here, right? Just a minute. 
right here we do have the metal wheel. This one has 150 years, was the first one to have used it in Costa Rica, but was too heavy for the two holes in plus that have low. So they created the first one in wood, is the compact wheel. This one is made with a wooden you know, only piece, was caught with a vertical line position, but soon to this one it started to do it around and start to change in a mobile form. If one of these pieces get broken, they have to stop that pieces for three or four weeks to repair all pieces. But the biggest problem was to find a tree that wide to repair one of this one. So they created an inventor, even the one we used to use into today, the 16 pieces this one. This one has 16 pieces, exactly this one here, everybody can see better. This one is have 16 pieces and it's tied by the metal hub. The first hub to what used it in Costa Rica was from the United States, from Philadelphia. And that's why we do have a foundation place in San Jose City, so we do like a special model by item. By machine for German and the right part to the factory in the first level, now we're building all these pieces here. Also, we did a special process to put the iron ring all around to the 16 pieces. For that, we use this place outside to the factory where we see the smoke into the wall. Right in the bottom, we do have a special oven when we heat the iron ring for 45 minutes. Anoche dormí en el suelo, dormí en el suelo, teniendo cama. The best of the base in working only the artists know with what color green combination, what can be curly. They use some shadows in each color and white lines in the end of the design to show the elegance to the traditional ones. But sometimes the people request a different kind of decoration, the ecologic designs. Now we turn around to this lady right here. We can see how Johanna prepared the view and started to give it with a different kind of heat from psychological research. I guess you have noticed already that she is not the, the newest or the largest cruise ship in the fleet. We actually have uh, ships that are three times larger than the next gen. However, you probably have the most exciting itinerary of all the ships in the fleet. And this ship has uh, had the opportunity to travel the world basically for the last 19 years more than any other ship in the fleet. And also before we came to the US, we spent uh, six years in Asia, sort of starting up that market before this ship was uh, replaced with uh, two of the bigger ones, the Voyager and the Mariner of the Seas. So after Asia, we spent 30 days in Jadok in Singapore to what we call revitalize the ship. The company invested quite a bit in order to upgrade the whole ship before we continued our voyage to the Mediterranean and the Adriatic Sea. And uh, after a few weeks, months in the 
in uh, that area. We came to the United States a few months ago, and we have not been here for seven years. So you can just imagine how many authorities and inspections that we had to go through in order to be taken back into the warm, so to speak. Ipetik Quak Temalan. It means welcome to Guatemala in one of the 22 Mayan descendant languages that we still speak in our country. Welcome to Guatemala. Welcome to the Ever Spring Land. Welcome to the land of volcanoes. Welcome to the cradle of the Maya civilization. Welcome to Puerto Quetzal, Quetzal Port. I know you were expecting this morning to see a Jose or a Pedro. Yes, I know that. But let me tell you that you're not in Mexico anymore. You are in Central America, and you are in the biggest country in Central America, the biggest republic, but at the same time, one of the smallest in the world. Yes, Guatemala is a very small country, but if you visualize Central America, it's really narrow and small. Guatemala is the biggest country in Central America, the most beautiful one, the most productive one. All through the way right now, at the beginning, we're going to be uh, seeing sugar plantation. Sugar is the number one product of exportation in Guatemala. So on the Pacific coast, we have 240 kilometers of sugar plantations, sugar cane plantations. Antigua, Guatemala was the capital of all Central America during what we called the colonial times. What are the colonial times? The part time that we were governed by the Spanish crown and the reason that today most of the population is Catholic. And the reason that today most of our population is a mixture of Mayan and Castilians, Castellano. If you investigate Guatemala, they tell you we speak Spanish. We don't speak Spanish, we speak Castellano. Castellano is a variation of the Spanish language. So today you're on a self-guided service, and then Antigua is an open-door museum. 37 convents, imagine that. 37 comments, religious comments, spread out all over the city. Yes, the government building for what that governed Guatemala represented the government of all Central America. Yes, administrative, political wise. Yes, many things are in Guatemala, for example, Jade Museum. Jade is a precious stone that was valued by many uh, ancient civilizations in the world. In Guatemala, Mayan, Mayan civilization also valued jade. So understanding the importance of jade is interesting while visiting Antigua.
and also the torsin. The torsin, the human body has 13 important joints, not the smaller ones. Three in each leg, three in each arm, and the neck. And also the 20, the Mayans used to come by 20, because we have 10 fingers and 10 toes. And also the children will fit their 20. That's why they call it the sacred calendar. The other one is the song calendar, they call it two. The one has 365 days. This calendar has 18 cycles of 20 days and one cycle of five days. The cycle of five days was the last one. In that cycle, they use it for meditation. The Mayans calendar, or the Mayans low count, and then December 21, 2012. And then the Tortin Batuns, 13 times 400 years. 13 times 400 years gives 5,200 years. And this cycle beginning 3,114 years before Christ. And then in 2012, and beginning a new one. Beginning a new one again, and the cycle of one day, then the cycle of 20 days. This one finished last year. We live in this one now, the cartoon, the cycle of 20 years, to go again to the 400 years. <laughs> You can see what the J does to the hammer. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our uh, international belly flop competition. It's great to have you here. Let me introduce to you some of the great people that I get to work with all cruise long. It is indeed a, a privilege and an honor to work with these people. First of all, you know them, you love them, you cannot get enough of them. Give it up to your activities manager, Mo, from Fiji. Have we told you, uh, coming up is your uh, dances this afternoon, the hot pot. Day 11, day 11. He's going to teach you the Polynesian war dance, the haka, that the uh, New Zealand rugby team does. No, not that one. No, not that one. All right, let me explain exactly what's going to happen. We have seven uh, competitors here and one lady. Good for you. Seven competitors. Here's what's going to happen. After each of the flops, and there's going to be two flops in the belly flop competition. I'll explain that in just a minute. After each of the flops, I am going to go around the entire pool deck area, and I want all of you, our judges, to hold up your hand and give me a score from one to five. One is the lowest score. Five means it's an absolutely perfect flop. Now, you don't want to hand out too many fives, because then we don't really know who the winners are. Now, just a reminder, this is not a cannonball competition. This is a belly flop competition, right? So that's round number one. Round number two is going to be a little bit different. You are going to be judged on pain, how much pain you put yourselves through. Now, I have been with our guests for what? This is a day nine now. And if there's one thing I've come to realize, they want a lot of pain, and they want it to be your pain, not their pain, all right? So round number two is pain. Round number one is water displacement, all right? So that's the way it's going to work. I think we're all set to go. First up, we have, uh, it's uh, John from England. John from England here. All right, now, John. John is representing all the flat bellies here. There you go. Now, for round number one, you can start right here on the edge, or you can get a running start if you would like. Totally up to you. Just remember, it gets a little bit slippery here. So, again, this is... Yeah, no, yeah, you're actually going to go into the water to do that. That's it. We just want to make sure. It's John, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from England. Very nice. It's the old hold the nose with one hand and then do the flop with the other hand one. I don't think we've seen that in a while here. And, no, the pain is the next category, John. This was water. Next up, we have a Dennis from Ohio. Wait, what, we have two Dennises? That was Dennis. Den no, no, no. That's Dennis. You're next. You're Daniel. That's Dennis. And, j and just so you know, you're, fr you're from Belgium. He's from Ohio. You're from Belgium. This is Dennis from Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Before. That is very nice. So we throw at the top, throw at the bottom. Dennis from Ohio takes the lead with a 3.2386542 and a big round of your opinion. He is just having his own good time over here, isn't he? Right. Now we have Daniel from Belgium right over here. There you go. All right. Are we going to add or subtract points for the speedo here? Are we adding or subtracting? No, 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 Too many lawyers on board. Okay, there we go. No, it's the belly, belly flop. Belly. so pretty. Very nice, very nice. All right, I need some scores for Daniel from Belgium. Here, oh, the ladies are giving me a five just for the bathing suit there. There you go. Are you related to the wife? The wife and the mistress. Oh, the wife and the mistress, right next to each other. Four is right. Oh, one up on top. Well, she obviously did not. She obviously did not like the speedo up on top. Okay, we go with the. That's the ex-wife up on top. Oh, the ex-wife is up on top. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, fours and five from the captains. From oh, and Lord Donna, there you go. We know what she was looking at. We throw the top, throw the bottom. Daniel from Belgium with a 3.4586295432 and a big round of your applause. This truly is an international competition. Now we have Diego from Mexico. All right, Diego. 
He's been in training all crews. Here we go. Next up, we have Pete from North Carolina. Here we go. All right, Pete. Here we go. You know the competition. It's very difficult here. There was that pocket of air that got trapped in there that said, get me out of here. from British Columbia, Captain. I would have done this for her. All right, here we go, Lindsay. You got all the women on your side right now. This, all the kids, children and the ladies are on your side. This is Lindsay from, hold on. No, no I meant you were holding on. You were, no, you can go, you were just holding on there. <laughs> no, you don't, no. Bathing suit still intact. We're okay. Okay. And last up in round number one, it's Glass from Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back up, everybody. Back up. Get the kids out of the way here. This could be. All right. Glass. There you go. This Glass from Texas. So we're going to start with the lowest score and go to the highest score. So first up in round number two, it's going to be, it's going to be a John from England. Give him a nice round of applause to this light. One dance, John. Come on, yeah, okay. Here we go. Not bad. He went right for it. Now, if this was a face flopping competition, he would have done extremely well. Oh, he's pointing. Stop, stop, stop the music. That's enough there. So, Dennis, Dennis, you dance like a white guy. I'm sorry to say. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, that would be your cue, Dennis, yeah. <laughs> you okay, Dennis? Okay, he's, he's fine. Don't worry, please, none of you, jump into the pool, he's fine. We can just order an order here. Next up, it's Daniel from Belgium. Here we go, Daniel, we're looking for pain. Oh, 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 shake the eyes of the children. watching that dance there. I'm not just exactly sure. I know. And by the way, right after this is over, Daniel will be teaching that dance right here. Right here, out by the pool. Next up, it's uh, Diego from Mexico. Oh, the Mexican shuffle. Stay up. Do you see the size of this guy? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! The old spread eagle. Very good. All right. We need some scores for Diego from Mexico. Yeah, of course, Pancho gives you five. Next up we have, we have uh, Pete from North Carolina, currently in third place.
single guy just went, ooh! I need some scores for Pete from North Carolina. Whoa, Corey. It's Blast from Texas! No, 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 they're not, they're not booing, they're saying blast, blast. Oh, he looked at this height, he went, yeah, I'm protecting these jewels, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I need some scores for blast from Texas. So ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this. Currently in first place after round number one, she has been in training for years for this moment. This is the defining moment of her life, ladies and gentlemen. Needing to nail this flop in order to take home the gold and put these guys to shame. Give it up for Lindsay from British Columbia, Canada. the pool at the same time. So all seven of you just across the side, the two kids there, if you just want to get out for a second, because we won't see you when after this is over if you stay in the pool. We're going to have one last massive flop. I'm going to count you down from three. One more last one. All right, everyone's all set. All right, here we go. We're all set. Yeah, you can spread out a little. You don't want to hurt each other. There you go. That's good. Now, before we get started, I want you to look at Erwin right over here for the cruise room. Give us your best muscle clothes. Let's see those muscle. All right, seriously, that is sad. That is very, very sad. On the count of three, here we go all together. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Give them all with a score of 8.3, your bronze medal winner. It's Diego from Mexico! Taking home the silver, ladies and gentlemen. And this is very important because if for any reason our gold medal winner cannot fulfill their responsibilities over the next year, he will take over. It's Pete from North Carolina taking home the silver. And taking home the gold, ladies and gentlemen, was there ever any doubt? Your gold medal winner, give it up for Lindsay from Canada! We got hats for everybody here. Give them a wave. There you go. Hello, Jerry, uh, Bill, Irwin, and Pancho for getting out of bed today. Thanks, Pancho. We appreciate that.
We used to have gifts, we used to have fruit. When we break the piñata, and in this case, we, in this case, we have, have, have uh, those candies. We would like to, all of you come down and wrap the uh, candies that will be on the floor, and that will represent the gifts, thanks to benefits. So, a one, a two, a three. Vámonos, go, 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 go. A straight one, a straight two, a straight one, bravo! There are the candies, that's it, that's it. Amigos, please welcome, come down, rub the candies. Candies is the benefit that we're gonna have, and every candy is gonna give you seven years of good luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
bravo, bravo. If it's somebody who would like to try to do that, I have nice bottle of tequila free. So we're gonna say, uno, uno, dos, tres, andale. Salud. The rooster almost get you, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, you got to do it better than him, eh? Okay. Señor, so your name is? You from? Dale from Oregon. Dale from Oregon. Let's see what you have. All right. So, amigos, once again, please help me. Now we're going to do it in English. Yeah. One, two, three. Andale. so far. <laughs> uh, you see, I should be a doctor. Well, that is, that is a penalty. <laughs> How do you know you, I don't have any shower today? How do you know I don't have any shower today? All right, we continue one, uh, once again. A una, dos, tres, andale. So you are the winner so far. Gary from Michigan, same thing. We will see. Please help me to come. One, two, three, Andale! You know what happened? Happens to you need another shot because you don't say salute. So, Jerry, one, two, three, Andale! <laughs> After a battle, you will have a stronger boy. All right, senor. So, your name is, are you from? Donald from California. Donald from California. We'll see what, what you have. So, once again, one, two, three, Andale!
One for me. Somebody has to do it, right? You know, I work eight hours a day, eight days a week. Somebody has to do it, right? Okay, amigos, so welcome to the happy room. So now I'm gonna give you one of each. We gonna start with Blanco, Silver Tequila. This is the best for me, margaritas. You know about margaritas? Frozen margaritas on the rocks. This is the best. This is good for shots like uno, dos, tres, <laughs> this is the best. But this tequila, I don't recommend you for sipping. Why? If you sip the tequila blanco, I think burn your tongue. Just take a shot, have a shot, all the way down to your stomach. Inhale, so let it in like this. And exhale. Little by little, and then you have the taste, and then you feel like a <laughs> chihuahua. <laughs> but I think you feel good, right? Now, amigos, repeat after me, please, and say, Arriba! Arriba! Abajo! Abajo! Al centro! Al centro! Pa adentro! Pa adentro! Salud! Salud! All the way down! Banda Hatch! Y un papere de... Right. No. Oh. Oh. No, you must write it's on the park. He's thinking on the park. Right? Okay, one more time. Okay, now amigos, now we say arriba arriba. Arriba arriba. Más tequila. Más tequila. Salud. Salud. Wow, smooth. But this is more like a smoky, smoky yeah. thing, right? This is the one we use to marinate meat. I recommend you beef. Beef tacos. Very good. Which one do you like better? One or two? One. 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 Okay. Remember, the best is the ones you like. I have one more. This is the one expensive. One bottle like this, I think in your country you pay more than $140. Because it's more than one year in the back. Okay? Wow. What's that called? This is anier. Tequila anier. No, this is more like a wood than small wood because it's a shlong in the back. Oh, so well. <laughs> One more time, and now we say. No. Okay, arriba, but in English we say up, down, center, enter. How was it? Very good. This is more like a wood, this one wooden, right? Blanco, reposado, and añejo. Mario, but now let me give you the flavor tequila. Flavor tequila is only 18%, 18. It's kind of like licor, tequila, licor. For example, we we'll start with peach tequila. Peach, actually, peach, we have almond and coffee sugar. Peach, honest. Okay. Sweet, right? Fruity. It's very good. I have another one. Almond. Tastes like amaretto. Almond. This is good on ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Good on cheesecake. Pancakes. Cheerios. Why not? Breakfast and Last one is coffee, oh. chocolate, with a touch of vanilla. Oh. All together. Yeah. Good if you have a snug gum. Make tequila snug gum. Coffee, chocolate, milk, milk, evaporated milk, a touch of Baileys, and cinnamon on the top. Yeah. It's very good. Make the famous black Russian. A black Russian? Yeah. Oh. Oh this is the last one.
Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but I bought a guitar and I'm singing my songs downtown in a bar. You can come with a friend, you can come by yourself, you can sleep here with me. Jet San Juan is the sun sinking down in the west. I'm leaving you this message, and if you give it down, and you want to call me, you know where I am in Cabo. Cabo San Lucas. Mama done told me I will wait to run. 